Hello everybody, Jeff at Cuttermasters. We were contacted by a customer yesterday that wants to produce some step drills. They have a requirement and they need a lot of these things. He's going to grind them from 3 8 stub drills. The drill's going to end up with a, about a 200 thou pilot. It's a round pilot, so that's pretty easy. So he also wants to be able to sharpen his other tools. He's got end mills and reamers and hogging cutters and sledding saws and so on. So we suggested that he try our journeyman. This is the journeyman JXT. The journeyman JXT is basically the old cutter master platform that we think is pretty cool. We actually made it a little bit different. You get a little more travel on the X and Y tables has our new air spindle on it. This new air spindle this year is milled from solid. It's got a very nice fit. There's about five tenths total clearance in the bushing. The bushing is brass and it's replaceable. It presses out the back. There's a one thousand step in it. So you don't need to buy the whole spindle like you used to have to with the cutter master. And the tubes are replaceable. We've made them all the same size. Uh, in this case, for this operation for the step drill, we chose a two flute cam. It's a standard cutter master cam with a 65 thou lift. So on the back, you have the spring housing. On the front, you have a cam. There's a cam follower. Spring housing keeps tension on the slope of the cam. For the wheel, we chose our tradesman wheel. Uh, this is a 67 and a half degree on one side and 59 degrees on the other. It's designed for producing, for sharpening drill tips and producing step drills. We actually have a setup on the Tradesman Machinist that does this. It uses the standard Cutter Master cams also, so if you already own the cams, you're halfway there. The benefit of having the Journeyman JXT with the tower is that you can raise and lower the motor. This is a pretty nice setup because, well, in this particular case, the relationship between the wheel height and the tool height is kind of important. You can adjust the heel clearance on the drill. You know, that's the clearance behind the cutting lip. It should produce clearance if even if you're down on center, but we were trying for a little more aggressive grind to start with, and then we can adjust it once we get set up. This is a plated bond wheel. We have it, there's a lot of settings on the new journeyman tower. So we have the wheel set to level. That's pretty much on zero. There's a scale down there that's centered. The spindle is straight. To grind the pilot diameter, you infeed with the Y axis. The little arrows there to help you remind you which way to go. The length of the step is determined by in feet to the x-axis. And then, so we're going to take a little bit. To time the drill to the cam, just line the sharp corner up with the, the set screw. Once they're in line, that tool is timed to the cam. And you're pretty much all set. This is our... Of course, our DC whisper drive, it's pretty quiet. These plated bond wheels are very aggressive, so you'll remove a lot of material very fast, so you don't actually have to lean on them to, to cut much. Uh, in this case, we're gonna set it at about 1,000 RPM. <clears throat> to grind, it's pretty straightforward. You just rotate the spindle. There normally should be air in the spindle, but we didn't wanna do this in this video, so. It's a little bit quieter without the air. So, so anyway, the grinding process is pretty straightforward. You don't need to go very fast. If you're looking for a good finish, well, just take a light cut for a finish cut. To grind the step, you just rotate the tool. That's pretty much all there is to it. We think this is going to do the job for them. Uh, we're going to deliver it tomorrow. 
Thanks for watching. Any questions or if you want to find out more about this machine, just send us an email, cuttermaster at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.